with another one. This is a uh, tornado ball kneeling on the Swiss ball with overhead swings, okay? So we have a Swiss ball and we have a tornado ball. A tornado ball is a ball with a rope on it, okay? This one broke in half from hitting it on the ground, I think because I'm too strong. But anyways, it's good for using it for one arm because sometimes it might be too heavy for one arm and I can get some good rotation with it. So I'm not asking you to go break yours. Mine, that just happened to mine. So anyways, we'll kneel on the ball. This one's very good for getting strength in the shoulder in all different planes of movement. Okay, getting flexibility in that. It, it will help your balance, your nervous system, your core, okay? Focus, concentration, a bunch of different things. Every movement that I do doesn't just focus on one thing, it focuses on many different things because in motocross, it's not just one thing, it's many different things. Many different things. What that track is asking of you, uh, I need a book for to, to, to list it, okay? It's not just cardio. It's not just how long I can do a moto. It's not just how fast can I go for one lap. It's your strength, stability, coordination, balance, efficiency, concentration, focus, cardio, you name it, okay? So this is why we train this way. All right, so what I do is I'll put the rope around my wrist and I'll put the rope through my hand like this, so I'm holding it with one arm. I'll kneel on the ball here, like this. Okay, I'll start swinging it here, like this, and get it in different planes of movement. Over my head, okay, like this. Boom, up like that. The guys from the south should be pretty good at this for rope and cow, whatever you guys do. So all different planes of movement here. Even back over here. Okay, as you see, I'm getting such good mobility and flexibility out of my shoulder because I don't know where I'm going to crash. <laughs> if I crash and my shoulder goes back here, well now I have some strength and I have some flexibility in it because I don't know where I'm going to fall sometimes, okay? So switch hands, this side now. And it's such a good stretch, very good one for after training, after riding, good for a warm up at a race. Okay, because I have to balance on this ball, which is balancing my nervous system. This is stretching my core, my shoulders, my chest. All right, very, very, very good warm up. All right, so you can find one of these off the internet. You go, can go to the checkinstitute.com and find many different uh, of these products and the best information you'll ever find in your life. Paul Check is a master, and uh, I highly recommend him, and, uh, and I, uh, I praise him for everything that he's done. So anyways, try this one at home. I think you guys will see a big difference in maybe some recovery from after a long ride, some flexibility. If you have some shoulder problems, be very careful, very careful, okay? And you have to ease into it. So. Put this one in your program. This one could be towards the last, towards the end of it again. Um, and uh, again, play around with it. You can stand on it, you can sit on it, you can do many different things. So enjoy, be safe. Bye.